How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again where I give you another commentary here. We're talking about modern aiming coming to the MCC. If you missed my December preview update video that we know that the MCC will be receiving modern aiming. I'm going to jump into the MCC Insider program. I'm going to show you what modern aiming looks like and how to find it, how to change the settings and what it means for the game. If you guys enjoy these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the channel and this video so more people get to know what this new feature is coming and what it really means for the MCC and how it's going to really help out everybody. If you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell, keep up to date with anything Halo related. Let's get going into the video here. So we already jumped into the MCC Insider program right now. This is the only place where you'll be able to find it, but I believe probably sometime soon, maybe even this week or by the beginning of the next week, we'll have the MCC update coming for you guys so you, everyone can have a chance to enjoy this feature. Let's check it out. So what is modern aiming? What modern aiming does, it gives you the inputs of say Halo 2 Anniversary or Halo 4, that engine and its inputs and feel when it comes to aiming and lets you have those same inputs for all the other games in MCC. So what that really, what that feature really does for everybody is it helps unify your sensitivities for every single game, which for me is huge because I had my own sensitivities for pretty much every single Halo because everyone felt a little different. In this game, or in this, in this update, they're gonna try to unify those feelings. So how do you find these aiming mechanics? Well, you go to your settings over here and then you go scroll down to aim modern control settings. Now I did move my camera over here to this side so you guys can clearly see the menu here. So you got your horizontal, your vertical, your look acceleration, you know, axle dead zone, radial dead zone, and then you have your modern aiming controls. I got a chance to play a lot of MCC Insider on one of the play nights when using them, you know, giving a chance to test out the modern aiming mechanics. And let me tell you, it feels a lot better. Not being able to run the same sensitivity for every single Halo, and each game feels about right now. Uh, I know you can't really tell by watching a video about this, but let me tell you that you will feel it once you jump into it. I've always felt that with uh, the classic inputs for Halo 3, that they'll like look acceleration or something like that it just felt really loose when you tried like whipping your controller around the other side now I'm, right now I'm using the modern settings and so I'm able to kind of just like able to walk around and it just feels kind of like how a standard halo should feel but if I go over to settings switch it to classic it just feels a little bit loose uh, I don't really know exactly how else to put it but it just it doesn't feel the same compared to like say like uh, Halo 2 anniversary or Halo 4 and I feel like honestly it's probably for the better. I do think that the inputs are a lot better for this uh, version of Halo uh, than the classics especially. Well, let me show you what game it really improves on. This game right here, Halo Combat Evolved, is where modern aiming really, I mean really helps out. Uh, it just feels like how a normal shooter should feel. And it still feels a bit more loose compared to your previous ones, but like, it just feels so much more snappy being able to use the modern settings in this game compared to the classic ones which just like it was weird and i feel like it kind of also kind of helped relieve the uh input delay that was in the game because um i mentioned this in a previous mcc video that i've always felt that like the uh halo ce always had this really weird input delay for some reason and now in this game like i feel like like I'm playing it, it's like I feel like I'm controlling my character now compared to what it was previously where it was just like I would shoot, 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 and press B and now let's see like it's reloading right away. I feel like it kind of alleviated that input delay. Uh, maybe that's just me, maybe it's just some, you know, uh, placebo effect happening there, but to me, it's night and day difference and I noticed it certainly in my scores as well where uh, like I think I had a gameplay on Wizard where I went like 18-6 I've never done that well in CE because, well, it always just felt really odd aiming in this game. Well, not so much anymore. It feels pretty damn awesome. And so I have to commemorate 3 for 3 so much for doing that. Like, this modern aiming update is going to be, you know, it sounds minor and tiny, like, ins inconsequential. But really, it will help unify your experience throughout all the MCC so that you can use the same sensitivities 
for all, all the games and it all feel the same, which is absolutely huge. Because for me, a big issue was always having to hop back and forth between games because the aiming and the sensitivities were always a little different and every, all the mechanics were just slightly different. That it always kind of made me want to choose like what single game that I wanted to play, like say just Halo 2 or just Halo 3 or maybe just CE. And hopping between the games admits really rough. This will help alleviate the issue to make it so it's a lot easier to go between your... Now there certainly was one issue I was really concerned about when it came to bringing modern aiming to these classic games is that you know obviously these weapons were tuned with these sensitivities in mind and does that really affect how weapons act in the game does it make certain weapons more overpowered more accurate than you would normally expect them that was my major concern when adding in this modern aiming because i'm like i really do like how these you know halo 2 anniversary and halo 4 feel I'm worried about how it would affect the weapon balance because and how much different it would be. Now it's a minor change, but it does help unify your experience. And from what I played in the play session on the MCC Insider uh, this weekend, previous weekend, I will say that it really didn't uh, mess up too much when it came to like uh, your weapon balancing or accuracy of weapons or anything feeling completely different. Uh, but it does feel just like a little bit more solid, a little more. You know, you just feel like you're more in control of your character, so it will help improve your aim. So hopefully you can finally get those headshots in Halo 3 when it comes to that sniper rifle, because we all know that's not easy. So for me, this update that's going to be coming for the MCC, Modern Aiming, is a 10 out of 10 addition to the game. It's one of those things where, yeah, it's not true to the classic, but it's one of those things that what we have now is better than what we had then. And it's one of those like kind of little minor updates I think it really helps bring these classic games to the modern era. And I think that's kind of what the point of MCC was. And so I know it's not true to the original, but I think it's a really great addition and I'm really glad it's coming to MCC. Let me know in the comment section down below guys what your guys thoughts are on this modern aiming update. Are you going to be using it? Have you had a chance to use it? Let me know. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you enjoyed this video, found it informational or want to share the word about this uh, new update, please make sure to tap that like button as it really helps out the channel. Share the video around if you feel like it. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep you notified with anything going on on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, like I said, or missing any content from me, you can check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.